Welcome to the Five Stars Survival Program. My name is Dr. Susanne zadro -Jäger. I'm a medical doctor, specialist in psychiatry and neurology, and a psychotherapist. This video aims to provide a few practical tips to help you to deal better with anxiety, depression, or loneliness. Of course, it can't and it shouldn't replace one-to-one -one therapy. But I hope it will feed your soul. And food for the soul is what we all need right now in difficult times we are living through with the COVID-19 crisis. All you have to do is come along with ideas and do the short exercises. Come with me on a journey through a potential day. Imagine that you've just got up. You may not have had a good night. Your sleep may have been disturbed. You may have been distressed by pain, anxiety, or depression. Or you had a good night and you are in good shape, you feel rested and full of beans. You can't change the night you had. You can't make any difference to it. But you can determine your response to it. And your response to the night is how you start this day. You can always always determine your response. Greet this day with gratitude. And pay attention to the good things. Notice the parts of your body that feel good. Look around and notice the things that you find beautiful, the things that mean something to you. Perhaps you can see a bit of sky through a window. Straighten your body as good as you can. Look up, lifting your head slightly, stretching your chest, and now Breathe in deeply and out again. And as you stretch your chest, imagine the sun is rising within you. Yes, imagine the sun is rising within you. Whatever the weather is like outside, imagine the sun is rising. You can't change the weather, but you can decide how you respond to it. You can decide whether you are going to complain about the weather and bemoan your fate, or whether you are going to greet this day with gratitude. You control your answers, always. Greet yourself by name. Use the name by people, uh, use the name uh, used by people who love you. Maybe it's a nickname you remember from the past. 
Keep yourself a name and the name you like and tell yourself that you are doing well. Call yourself by that name and say you are doing well. Now make a plan. Make a plan for this day just like you would for a little child. A little child you love and uh, you are responsible for. Decide when you are going to eat, when you are going to wash, when you are going uh, to um, get dressed, when you are going to do the things that need to be done, but also when it will be time to play and have fun. And then when it will be time to rest and when it will be time to go to bed again. Make a really a real timetable, uh, a proper daily routine. That's what you need because it's very very important that you have structure in your day. The structure of your day is the framework. It's like a skeleton that supports the flesh around it. And now we come to the day itself. Um, how are you going to fill it? That's where the five stars come in. You might have been given five stars uh, in primary school. Uh, in your exercise book when your work was especially good. Or you might be aware of five, stars ho five star hotels. Or review sites uh, where you can uh, award up to five stars. Well, I've got good news for you. You yourself are a five star person. And the good thing is You've got all these stars already. You were given all these five stars when you were very young. And you still have them. Maybe uh, you have neglected one or two of them a bit recently. But they are all there. They are all there waiting to be polished. Polished until they sparkle and shine. Give each one of these stars the attention and the respect that it deserves. You have all five stars, all of them. One stands for your body. The next for your brain, your spirit. The next for your creativity. The next for your relationships. And one star stands for your spirituality. You yourself are a five star person. Let's start with your body. Now, as we said at the start, it's really, really important that you focus on the good things. Things that are doing well. 
and you should exercise. There are exercises for every condition that will help anyone to stay fit. Maybe you know, know a physiotherapist who can show you a few exercises. But you should exercise. You should get some exercise really every day. If you have the opportunity, go outdoors. Nature gives us enormous strength. Exercise in the fresh air. That will do you good. Getting enough sleep and taking enough breaks give us the energy for the next day. And please make sure that you eat fresh and healthy food. And if you need medication, take it correctly and regularly. Now for your brain, that need exercise to just like your body. You can listen to educational programs, for instance, or you teach yourself some new skills from YouTube. You can learn a language or um, some words in different languages. Art and culture challenges and stimulate, uh, challenge and stimulate our brain, our spirit. Play also challenges the brain. And it's fun. And uh, promotes our creativity too. So we come to your creativity. Your creativity is especially important for making you aware of your self-efficacy. Even if you don't believe you're creative, you are. We are creative when we do crafts, make music, write or sing. Or when we are just daydreaming. That's when we are at our most creative. We are creative when we do the gardening, um, when we tell stories. There are so many ways to be creative. And there are no limits to your imagination. And now we come to your relationships. We don't just have relationships with people. We have them with animals, with plants. It's so important to nurture our relationships. But relationships aren't just about being in the same room as someone. And it's not important how many relationships you have. What matters is the quality of the relationships you do have. You have to nurture your relationships, but make sure you are not taken advantage of. Be proactive, including in your relationships. Use I messages. They are really important. Tell people what you find fun, what you like. And this will mean you're focusing on the good things. Things you pay attention to become more and more important. It's in your hands. 
things to pay attention to become more and more important. Things you pay attention to become more and more important. And this will mean you are focusing on the good things. Now for your spirituality. Maybe you find your spirituality in religion, in prayer, or you find it in meditation. In meditating on being a part of a larger whole. And you are a part of a larger whole. And in dissipating into the unending universe. Imagine a beautiful landscape, for example. If you can't bring one to mind, use the internet. Look at the picture of a beautiful landscape. Look at the beauty of nature and at its power. You are a part of it. You are a part of the astonishing beauty. You are a part of this incredible creation. I'm sure that you will find the spirituality that gives you meaning. Now, if you nurture all the five stars with love and humor. I promise you, I guarantee you, that you will have days full of joy of living. At the start of the video, I invited you to journey through a potential day with me. Well, you've greeted the day with gratitude. You've dealt with it well, warmly and lovingly. You focused your attention on the good things the things that feel good. You've made a schedule. You've maintained your rhythm. And you have polished all of your five stars until they shine. Your body, your brain, your creativity, your relationships, and your spirituality. Now, you can let the day go in gratitude and drift off in your dreams with a sense of well-being. I wish you all the very best. Thank you for listening.